Hey everyone, this is Red Crate Dragon, or RKD if you wish, from Imperial Outpost Armory. And I'm going to be preparing a short video tutorial for you for my knee kit. Uh, what you're looking at here is one half of the, the kit that you'd be receiving. This is the right knee. Um, these are all the pieces that you're going to get with it. You're going to get an inner shell, an outer shell covering kneecap, uh, and then the outside piece for the knee darts and launchers, and then the inside piece that goes with that. You're also going to get two blanks, this here. This is 8th inch, and this is 060, and these are going to be for their respective pieces that they're sitting next to. And we'll get on to, go on to that when, when I get closer to assembly. Um, you're going to need a couple clamps, spring clamps. And I've also got this, this is my preferred uh, method of adhesives that I like to use. This is Loctite. I actually, there's another brand called uh, Devcon. I can't find it here in Albuquerque anymore. So, uh, But it's basically the same stuff. And it's just a two-part uh, plastic bonder. It sets up It's uh, in like 20 minutes. Got about seven or eight minutes working time with it, and it's super, super strong. It holds up to heat and cold very well, so I will be using this. Um, you can also go with, oops, that's Bondo. That probably wouldn't work very well. You can also go with some E6000. I've never tried it. I don't, I mean, I have tried it, but not on my kits yet, um, so I don't know how well that stuff would work. But uh, I think that takes like 24 hours to cure. So um, the first thing that I did is I, this is, uh, all my kits come rough trimmed. But uh, for the purpose of this video, I've finished trimmed these kits. And um, I've also taken a sanding block to the edges, around the edges and stuff. And I, with like an 060 grit, that works pretty good. And I've also taken the liberty of when I, I went ahead and uh, sanded all of the parts that I'm going to be uh, assembling together with some 060 also. And the purpose of that is so that you can give the surface uh, kind of like a toothy, grainy, uh, rough surface so that it'll have, uh, it'll give the adhesive something better to, to grab and latch onto and it'll stick onto it better. So um, that's enough talking. Let's get to work here. So this is what we're looking at here. This is the inner shell. Whether you purchase these with, I will be offering these an eighth inch and 060, but the inner shell will also always be out of uh, eighth inch. Um, the other, this is the smooth version. I'm also going to be offering the, the version with the dents. These are Return of the Jedi version. Um, I know a lot of you like to have the smooth version, but I have made these also for myself because I'm doing my own FET, so I figured I would just offer both. So, I'll uh, just toss those aside for now because we don't need those. And um, let's see here. So, first thing we're going to do is, what you want to do is, hold on, let me just set this here. First thing we want to do is take this and set it inside the outer shell. Okay, so you don't want any of this sticking out over the edge of that because you're just going to see that and that's it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to assemble this part first. Now don't worry about getting it straight on here or whatever, just kind of get it close and it's good enough. But this because of this extra lip right here, it's pretty much just going to seat right in there anyway. So you can just press it down. Now what you want to do is, when you put your adhesive on, you want to make sure you go all the way around the edges. These are the most important parts because this is where you're going to get the most stress and where it's going to want to separate. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mix up some of this. I'm going to actually squeeze out quite a bit of it because we're going to need a lot. Okay, and then what I do, a nice little trick, is I'll back it off. It keeps it from uh, squirting out when you're done using it. Otherwise, it'll just keep oozing out and won't stop. 
nice little trick that I learned. Okay, so we're going to take this, get yourself a piece of uh, plastic or something you can toss, and then just kind of mix it up. It's kind of two colors, it's hard to see in this light, but it's a two color, it's kind of like an epoxy. Stuff smells pretty nasty. You might want to use a respirator and some gloves. Um, mix it for about 15, 20 seconds or so. And this stuff's pretty forgiving, so you have quite a bit of of uh, leeway. Is you have a lot of working time with this stuff, so you can actually kind of take your time a little bit. But make sure you get it mixed up real good because once it uh, once the chemical reaction starts, it it'll uh, it'll bond that much better, and that's what you want is a good solid bond on this. Now, obviously we know that these are the, the weak points on the knees. It's always been an issue. So I'm going to show you a way to help strengthen those up too. So what we're going to do is, what I'm gonna, is we're going to put it on the outer, the inner shell first. Okay, I'm just going to go all the way around, just kind of slather it around. You don't have to get too fancy with it. And I use all of this stuff up. I don't waste any of it because it's about five or six bucks a tube. It's pretty ridiculous. But it will last you a long time and it's really good stuff. It's totally worth the money. So we're just going to go ahead and take this outer shell, kneecap, turn it around. Now, if it squirts out the top and stuff, don't worry about it because you can always trim that off later with the uh, knife after about five minutes and it comes right off so or you can just leave it on there because it's on the inside so you're not going to see it anyway but some people like to have it nice and clean so what we don't want is any of that the inner shell showing up which is what we have here I'm going to go ahead and take our clamps and I'm just going to clamp around the edges because that's where uh, that's where we need all the force no pun intended Okay, get some in here. Alright, so this is what we're looking at right here. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side for now. Okay, this is going to be our dart launcher housing. What I'm going to do is take the, o the piece of 060 and just basically stick that across. So what I've, I've also sanded these parts. Just want to sand both sides of this and then sand this so whatever edges are going to be touching those are the ones you want to sand and then same thing on this this one here you're going to take your eighth inch and this is going to fit right inside here and then as i put this together you'll see the purpose of that so anyway um uh, and mix up some more of this real quick. This is hopefully uh, the first in a series of videos, a long line of videos to come. I figured this would just be a good idea to do a tutorial so that people can see. I mean, you can take pictures and stuff, but when you take video, you can actually see what you, what people are doing. It's a little bit easier to understand how to assemble a kit. So this is pretty good here. Okay, what I'm going to do on this one here. So I'm just going to take this. Actually, we're going to take this here. Put some here. Put some here. Stick that on there. You don't really need to clamp this one. Just go ahead and let that set. Got some more of this. We're going to take your eighth inch and it's going to sit right inside here. is not ready but I just wanted to get it so we can so I can show you how to assemble the rest of this now this part next part here 
is kind of optional. Um, as you can see, there's like a little bit of a lip right here. Now it doesn't want to set perfect. So what I've done, there's two ways you can do this. You can cut a notch right here and then it'll fit over that like a sleeve. You can cut a notch right here. Or what I've done is I've taken another piece of plastic and I'm going to go ahead and stick it right there. corner and then what that does is it helps it space it properly and then now it'll sit flat okay so <clears throat> now that that's on there I'll go ahead and take the rest of this and we'll go ahead and go all the way up to the edge and don't be shy with it on this one here and this stuff will actually harden so that when you put the other piece on there, it'll help strengthen this weak point out. So I'm go ahead and stick that on there. And when you assemble this top part, or this part here, you just want to line up these edges. And it'll come out nice and straight. And then just kind of eyeball it to see where you're at. But as long as your top edge is straight, you should be good. So I'll go ahead and throw a clamp on that real quick. And then same thing on this other side. I already did one of these a little bit ago so that I could uh, see what it looked like when it was finished. And that one, I'll show that one here in a minute. But what I like to do is get this piece prepared and then get this other piece prepared with this inside already ready to go. And then you can just slap it all together with three pieces. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I couldn't really do that because I wanted to show everything step by step. So mixing up a little bit more of the plastic bonder. Go ahead and slap some. See what we're going to go right here on this corner, and you can probably put some here, but I don't know if it's going to reach. And then we'll go ahead and okay. Well, that was like a major foul paw because I just realized that I cut the wrong. But anyway, you get the idea. So, this is what it looks like when it's done. And that's pretty much it. Here's the inside. You can see. Now, what I've done on this. You can see on this one here, I cut that extra piece off. So when you look at it from the front, you can kind of see that it uh, cleans up the sides a little bit. And you probably won't see that anyway because you're going to be wearing uh, your jumpsuit with this. But that's pretty much it. You shouldn't really have to form this to your body because as you can see, it's still pretty flexible here but it's tough I can't really bend it too much there this one just set up a little bit ago so it's not full it's not even at full strength yet but so that's pretty much it throw this on your knee just for a little quick test fit which is actually the left knee and obviously you can see that there's room for a play. These will actually fit me just fine, even though I got chicken legs. But uh, when when you put um, put your jumpsuit on and stuff, it'll fill out nicely. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for bearing with me, and hope to be doing another one of these very soon.